How about uh, case two? Ooh, I tried to wipe these slides, but okay. Uh, fibrofolliculoma. Yeah, this is a nice example of fibrofolliculoma, a relatively rare bird in my experience. These often occur on the nose or elsewhere on the face, and they uh, have a central follicle um, that can be dilated like this, and then these little strands of kind of blue basaloid epithelium stretching out from that cystic structure in the middle. And then the key, the fibro part of the fibrofolliculoma, is this right here, this dense fibrous stroma that's made of kind of plump spindle distellate fibroblasts and dense collagen. And basically, this is kind of recapitulating the adventitia, that special dense fibrous layer that wraps around normal hair follicles. Because remember, hair follicle tumors, like most of the tumors, they're recapitulating or mimicking the structure seen in the normal, um, the normal tissue of that type. And so you can tell that this, this stroma by itself up close may not look like much, right? It might look like fibrosis of any sort. But from lower power, you can see that it's definitely a discrete nodule of that stroma. And you can even tell where it separates. Like right there, look, it's got this nice cleft that it separates from the surrounding normal background dermis. I find that a very helpful feature, not just in this entity, but really in a lot of the benign follicular lesions. They have their own stroma, and their stroma usually looks very distinct from the surrounding dermis. And I find that really helpful um, to make the diagnosis. So that's fibrofolliculoma. And what's the syndrome that if you have multiple of these? Bert Hogg Dubé. Yeah, Bert Hogg Dubé uh, syndrome. People get multiple fibrofolliculomas and trichodiscomas. And I don't have a good example of trichodiscoma to show you because honestly, I'm not totally sure if I believe that it's a real thing. And I know greater and smarter people than I'll ever be have described it. So who am I to say that? But basically, anytime I see something that I think the idea is trichodiscoma is mostly this follicular, I mean, this dense fibrous stroma with just a few little strands of kind of follicle stuff in it without this central actual like cystic follicle. But I feel like every time I want to make a diagnosis of trichodiscoma, it ends up either on deeper cuts being a fibrofolliculoma or it's actually just a fibrous papule with a hair follicle embedded in the middle. I feel like it always ends up being one of those things that I never find something that fits perfectly. So I don't think I've ever seen a real case that, that I was convinced of trichodiscoma that I can recall. Um, so in any case, there, that's my, that's my thought about it uh, for the day. So if you ever see something that you think looks like a fibrous papule, an angiofibroma, with an unusual follicular structure in the middle, think about trichodiscoma or fibrofolliculoma.